Reno McGann, ABS light on. Okay, I've got DF026 front right hand wheel speed sensor circuit. Now, what I'm going to do to see if it's electrical, this is something that you can do, is erase the fault. If it allows you to erase it, usually it means all the electric circuitry is okay. But if it comes back on when you drive, then it's got to be something in the pickup ring or the wheel bearing, if it's the type of wheel bearing that has the magnets inside it. So I'll try and erase the fault code. Clear codes. This is with the engine on. Uh, no, this is with the ignition on and engine off. Clearing codes. Right. So it says it's complete. I'll just check them and see if it's done it. No codes present. So that kind of gives you the idea that the wire ends okay. I will check it out though. I'm not just going to go by that. This is just a quick test that I found usually is the case though. Um, if it's a faulty sensor or a wire, it wouldn't let you clear the fault code in the first place. So now what I'm going to do is go back, go into data, and we're going to have a look at these. I'll just choose the ones I want here by pressing... Uh, let's get rid of all the ticks on the side. So it was the front right. So I'll compare the front right. I'll bring up all four sensors. Okay. Then we go back, and only the four that I've chosen will come up in there. I'm going to have to start the car. No, I thought that might happen. So what I'm going to have to do, let's go back into it. Oh, it's not too bad though. I didn't have to put all the car's details in. So we're going to do that same thing again. Press that. Choose to untick all the boxes, then press... Front right, front left, rear left, rear right, and then we go backwards, and it shows us them. Now by putting the car in gear, and I'm going to have to move this whilst I let the handbrake off. One second. I am going to go far, I'm just going to rock back in two, but you'll see the numbers on the side here. That's miles per hour. Well, I gotta back up a little bit to get into there. Hold on a second. Right, I'll go backwards. Right. What I could do is put it on a graph, actually, to help me see it. Right, there's four graphs. Actually, it's already come up. So I don't need to move it anymore. I'll go forwards a bit, and you'll see it again. There. So that's it, that's the test done, and the one that's faulty didn't recognise this change in the speed, but the circuit said it was okay, so it looks like the sensor, in this case, will be fine. The wiring should be fine, but the wheel bearing, I know in this car it's the wheel bearing, has got little magnets inside, behind a rubber part that looks a bit like an oil seal. That's where there's little magnets inside the wheel bearing, and for some reason... It's not recognizing it's turning, so I'll have to get in and figure out why. So up here I'm using a hand tack. It's a 6204. Okay, here I am on the good side, and in here I'm pinned out onto the black wire which looks like the ground wire. And if I spin the wheel, see an AC pattern. I've AC coupled this, so I can make this scaling smaller. Oh, wrong way. Just by making that smaller, we can extend the AC coupling so we see a better sine wave. Which is really helpful, and this is on the black wire, not the power wire. So if I take the AC coupling out, what I'm using is kind of looks like an attenuator. Okay, now I'm in the power side. I've changed the scale to fit it on the screen with 5 volts per division. So we're at battery voltage just about there. That is not the digital signal that we're looking at. But at least we know 
when the fan kicked in the voltage dropped there, you might have seen that. At least we know which side the signal's on now by going to a good sensor. So we know that on the other side, the ground, the ground wire is the signal. Yeah, we're getting power on that wire. So if we're getting power, and we got a ground, but there's no signal output. Looks like it's the bearing, or the pickup magnets that are inside the bearing that are faulty. We've got a non good and a non bad. Okay, this is easy coupled now. Let's put it, put it right down to nothing just by using an AC coupling connector. So there's nothing happening on this wheel.